planner friends it's Nia welcome to life with Nia today I am stuffing cash envelopes for October um, I'm gonna be stuffing a total of seven hundred and fifteen dollars so last month I took the cash envelope stuffing portion out of my monthly budget setup video and I made it its own separate video um, and I'm trying to determine like if people like that better so if you could comment below what you prefer if you prefer it all being part of um, the October budget overview or if you prefer it as a separate video that would be really helpful to me um, one thing I like about it is my envelopes are stuffed and ready to go because my budget is done but the video is not done and I feel like I can't do stuff until the video is done I don't know why but anyway um, so I like that the, the, the envelopes are stuffed and I can go buy things that I need to go buy. I feel like I can't do that until I've done the video and got it ready to go. Um, and that's just a personal sentiment. So um, I do like it for that reason, but I don't know if there's like this disconnect because it's not part of the budget video. So I will share. I've got my October budget set up. This is my month at a glance calendar. I've got all my bills laid out here. Um, I'm going to put down my savings challenge here. I'm not sure if I will put anything here. Um, income will go here. Expenses will go here. I've got cash envelopes and sinking funds. I've got a place for debt and weekly um, check-ins on my cash envelopes. And then business expenses and notes. So we're going to focus on the cash envelope piece. And like I said, we'll be doing $715 this month. I am paid once a month. I work for the government. So um, I don't stuff my envelopes more than once a month with the exception of like the 52-week challenge and the savings challenges. Um, I do those in cash envelopes. And so whatever the challenge calls for. 52 week challenges weekly. I typically do the first two weeks through my paycheck, which you'll see here, but then the following two weeks I do through additional income, typically from Etsy. And so I will stuff those envelopes with that money um, when the time comes. But for the most part, I pull aside the money that I need, for example, for groceries for the entire month at the beginning of the month. So, um, 715 today I have um, made a few changes to my cash envelope category so I removed to Sam's Club um, the Sam's Club membership because it is fully funded I thought that it was 55 a year but it's 45 um, and so I have $59.87 saved for Sam's Club so we're good um, my membership does not expire until January I think 10th I have something like 101 days until my membership expires. So I don't need to worry about that. I also have $30 left over in my gas envelope that I am going to roll over to this month. So um, we've got our cash here. I've got 20s, 10s, and 1s. Um, I don't do, I don't pull out 5s because I save all my $5 bills and those go, go into my vacation fund. Um, so I only stuff with 20s, 10s, and 1s. I do occasionally do like cash exchanges where, um, I don't record it, but where I'll we'll replace to like 20s with a $100 bill. Um, and I do occasionally make deposits of some of the cash into bank accounts that are set up for certain things like um, business expenses and uh, emergency funds and those types of things. Car maintenance, health. So, um, this is the Notique, I think, Slim Wallet, Traveler Wallet, something like that. Um, which I am moving into. Um, I have been using this one on Amazon. It's linked below. It was like $10, I think. Um, but I'm going to move into this one because that was why I bought it, to move into it, because it's so pretty. And I think it's perfect for fall and winter with the color. Um, one thing that I did do is um, I did the labels for all of the envelopes that were included. These, uh, What I love about this is that it's on rings, so... Um, that's exciting for me, but I labeled all of the envelopes and I did get some extra envelopes as well. And, um, I just did it in red to coordinate. 
And so I don't want to use the Notique um, tracking slips because one, once I use them, that's it. There's no extras. And I feel like the extras are a little pricey and they're not just this particular sheet. You have to buy a bundle of stuff. Um, so I have some a printable from the Budget Mom. I'm going to use those. I punched them. Um, I'm going to use those instead and I'll be pulling these out of here and just sort of setting them aside. So just in a little FYI for you. So um, I also have a couple of Filofax um, envelopes or wallets. Uh, I don't know what they're called. Um, for things that I don't carry with me every day. So I carry food, groceries, eating out. Um, gas and household daily but then there are other things that I don't carry every day and I keep them in here and then they're in a fireproof um, envelope and safe um, and then I pull from those when I need them so I'm going to be putting money in those as well okay so now we got all that out the way let's get started so the first thing I'm going to stuff is um, I'm like pausing because I don't remember making an envelope for it. Um, it was laptop. I don't think I made an envelope. I've got one for Black Friday. And I think I put money aside last month for it. Or maybe this is the first month. Sorry. Let me get my life together here. Um... No, I did not do anything. Okay, so that's why I'm confused. Okay, so we're going to make an envelope. This one is empty. It's got a Christmas tree on it, which is not really appropriate, but we're going to make it work. So I'm just going to write on here, um, laptop. And we're going to add 50. Um, I had intended to start this last month and I just didn't. So um, we are borrowing a laptop because none of our devices seem to work with Silhouette software anymore. So 20, 40, 50 going into the laptop envelope. Next is the 52 week challenge. And so what I do with the 52 week challenge is one, I skip around. Um, it's a little less painful than having to do all these large numbers at the end. So, um, for October, I selected 46, 4, 29, and 1. So for October, I'll save a total of $80. And we're going to do the 46 and the 4, the, um, this, in this stuffing. And then later in the month, when I receive income, from other sources, primarily Etsy, I will do the stuffing of the additional weeks. So $50 is going into my 52 week challenge envelope and that will cover the first two weeks in October. And my 52 week challenge tracker is almost full. So we have on October 1st, we did the 46 and 4 and 992 plus 50 is 1042. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to use this for. I, I feel like it's, um, it's my home envelope. I shouldn't say I feel like it's my, I feel like it's anything. It's for home. Um, so Part of it is allocated towards getting a dryer, um, but I don't know on the rest of it. I kind of want a Peloton, but don't need one, and I'm not guaranteed to use it. So let's just make sure this is right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, forty, eighty, one thousand, twenty, thirty, forty. Two. So that is correct. 1042 in my 52 week challenge envelope. Next is um, Black Friday. So I created a little envelope for that last month, I think. 
and we are going to um, add fifty dollars to Black Friday. I don't know why I have an asterisk next to it. Actually, I started it two months ago. So we are adding fifty, and we have a hundred and fifty. Okay, so twenty, forty. 50, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 91, that's not good, did I count wrong, why is my envelope short, oh no, still stuck together, okay, let's try it again, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Right. So, and Black Friday will be here before we know it. I don't know what I'm going to buy, but I always buy a whole bunch of stuff I don't need. Usually it's planner related stuff. Um, so we shall see. Next is the P.O. Box. And um, that is going to get $15. And that should give us 60. So 20, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Okay. PO box is done. Next we have health. And health is going to get 20. Which should bring us to 190. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety. And I'm going to be using this before the year ends to um, use my I subs my subscription, my benefit, my health benefit for vision. Um, I don't want to lose out on benefits I have. I have like $200. So I typically buy like sunglasses, but I may buy another pair of blue light glass. I don't need glasses. I can see pretty, pretty good. Um, I have almost perfect eyesight, although I feel like it's getting a little harder because I'm in front of a computer for so many hours a day. But, um, I might get those blue light eyeglasses okay so next is business equipment this is a like it's not even business equipment it's just business this is like a, a revolving door for me I put money in and um, I spend it like 10 minutes later on business stuff so last month because of the planner sesh box I spent it pretty quickly and that's gonna be the same this month because I'm getting things together for the next box already so we are putting in 50 so 20, 40, 50. And this is another one that I try to fund which with each Etsy paycheck as well. Next is clothing. <clears throat> clothing is going to get $10. And there should be 86 in there, bringing us to 96. I'm not a big clothes shopper, um, although I did buy two pairs of pants in September, and I put it on my Kohl's card. They were only $30, so a whole nother thing. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 96 in our clothing fund. 
Next is, um, so we're doing zero for beauty this month. Um, next is fun, and fun is getting $10. And that should bring fun to a hundred. I don't know what fun is. Um, we stopped having fun somewhere around March 2020. But one day we'll have fun again. <coughs> I'm thinking it could be part of like if I get to go anywhere again and travel, it could be part of that. I don't know. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100 in our fun envelope. Um, next is pet Petey's envelope. Petey has, I don't think this is right. It says Petey has $186, but I know I went and bought Petey food in September. So I may not have written it down. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60. Yep. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So 166, which would make sense because I spent 20 um, when I went and bought him food. So we are starting with 166. And we are adding 20. So that should bring us to 186. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Next is gas. Um, so gas is getting eighty dollars, and. So there's $80. We're also rolling over $30. Get a little bit closer. So 30, which should give us 110. the 30 from the other envelope so 20 40 60 80 110 and that is going to go in here and I don't carry around all of my for these four categories gas household eating out and groceries I do not carry around all of this at one time typically when I fill my car up it's about $40 that I it is not $40 to fill my car up but it's $40 that I put in there and so that's the most that I'll gen general generally carry at one time um, and then the rest stays locked away so that is gas for um, October, $110. Um, gas is pretty expensive here, but I have been able to limit my comings and goings. And if I telework, that definitely helps. Next is household. Household is getting $20. Um, it does not currently have anything in it, so that is just a straight 20. And that again is going to go in here. Yes. 
Okay, so next we have, and these, by the way, do not fit inside. I would prefer to have them inside, but I would have to do some serious trimming. They just are a little too tall. Okay, so next we have, um, we're going to skip bulk and come back to it. So next we have eating out. Eating out is getting 80 this month. And I upped it. It's usually 60. Um, but this month I know I am going to see Hamilton. And um, I'd like to include a trip to eat out for that. Um, which could potentially like blow my eating out budget. So planning accordingly. Okay. So... 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. So groceries is getting 200. This is another area that I upped because I feel like uh, groceries have just gotten pretty pricey. Um, going to the butcher definitely helps, but I don't know. Um, let's see, 100. trying to have I think a certain number of I was trying to break it down to $50 a week so bear with me okay so this should be 220 40 60 80 1 20 40 60 70 80 90 200 and what I'm hoping to do is $50 a week to the grocery store um, and so I, if I only take $50 with me, that's all I have to spend. It kind of helps me to stay on budget with groceries. Um, groceries had been for quite some time, $160. And I was just finding that that was not enough. And so I, I was just using my debit card. Um, unfortunately had money to spend. Um, but just groceries are just pricey at the moment. Last envelope is going to be our bulk shopping butcher envelope, and that is getting $60, and um, yeah, I think it's in here. Yep. Okay, so there's currently 107, hopefully. And we are adding 60. This is another category that I, I upped. Um, I already, you know, I've kind of calculated in my head that I'm going to go spend about $50. And I haven't decided if I'm going to take that. Because I am I was just making one trip a month, but now I'm thinking it's going to be two. Um, so I haven't decided if I'm just going to sort of like cash flow that from my checking account or if I'm gonna pull it from here I can't seem to get any growth in this envelope it's like I put it in and I almost immediately go spend it um, so we should have 167 20 40 60 80 1 20 30 40 50 60 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 167 
that is our last envelope. And we are set and ready to go for October. Um, stuffing cash envelopes and just using cash envelopes has really helped my budget. So if you don't do it um, and you need some help in certain areas and one saving, because my cash envelopes are a little bit of a sinking fund as well for certain things like health, um, pet related things, beauty clothing, you see like fun, I have $100 sort of saved up. So it's a cash envelope, but it's also a sinking fund in that respect. Um, just really helps me to not overspend in areas. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, let me know if you prefer having the cash envelope stuffing separate. This is already like over 20 minutes. And so it was making the, the October or not the, the, monthly budget setup videos pretty long um so i feel like breaking it out sort of helps with that as well but let me know what your preference is and um, i will see you for the september budget review and also for the october budget setup don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye